Do you constantly deal with nasal congestion, trouble breathing, and allergy symptoms? You may have hypertrophy or swelling of your nasal turbinates. Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Talmage, and I'm a board-certified otolaryngologist, commonly known as Ear, Nose, and Throat, or ENT, and assistant professor in the Department of Otorhinolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery at McGovern Medical School. Welcome to this McGovern Medical Minute. Many people deal with nasal congestion because of turbinate hypertrophy, and you may have heard a doctor mention this to you, but what does that really mean? We have three nasal turbinates on each side of the nose. We call them the inferior, lower, middle, and superior or higher. Physicians believe the turbinates work to add humidity and warmth to the air we breathe and also help filter the air to trap the bad things that could cause infections or inflammation if they reach the deeper part of our respiratory system. The turbinates that tend to cause the most trouble are the inferior ones. They sit right in the pathway of our airflow in the nose and when they get too big, they can block our breathing, leading to congestion, runny nose, and at times a feeling of pressure up inside the head. They also tend to swell when we are laying down to sleep at night as the blood pools in the nose once we are no longer standing up. Many people will also notice that the congestion seems to switch sides every once in a while or when they roll over in bed while sleeping. Treating turbinate hypertrophy can often be done with managing allergies and inflammation inside the nose. This can be done with nasal sprays that contain steroids and anti-allergy medications, with allergy pills, or with controlling your exposure to things you are allergic to. For some people, these measures aren't enough, and they need to have the turbinates reduced. There are many ways to do this, ranging from minor in-office procedures to surgeries under anesthesia in the operating room. Turbinate reduction surgery is generally considered safe and effective, and is often performed as an outpatient. As always, with any procedure you are having done, make sure you feel comfortable with your surgeon and that you feel your questions are answered. If you have concerns about what is being done or feel your options are being limited, don't hesitate to discuss this with your surgeon or consider seeking a second opinion. Thank you for watching this McGovern Medical Minute.